Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. This one is on verbal ability of the TCS NQT exam. Okay, this video is going to have previous year questions. The TCS NQT exam was held last year, like a couple of months back by October and November. So we are going to check out a few questions of that exam in the verbal ability section. Okay, so uh, let's start with the questions. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates and such useful videos to help you guide your preparation. And you can even join our telegram channel for practice questions and getting updates. So let's start. For the four sentences S1 to S4 paragraph below, sentences S1 and S4 are given. From the options P, Q and R choose the appropriate sentences for the following. Statement 1 is Gandhi does not reject machinery as such. Statement 2 and 3 are missing. Fourth one is what he objects to is the craze for machinery not the machinery as such. Okay. So in the first sentence it is said Gandhi does not object uh, reject machinery as such. Let's see the options which are there. Statement P is he says that today machinery merely helps a few to ride on the back of millions. Q is and adds that the spinning wheel is a machinery a little toothpick is a machine. So it is adds that that means Q cannot come out to be the statement number one. Okay. So sorry state S2 which is there Q cannot be it because he is adding something right. Let's see statement R. He observes. How can I be against machinery when I know that even this body is a most delicate piece of machinery? So first statement says Gandhi does not reject machinery as such and reason for it is given over here. More explanation about it is given in R. So here statement R must come. Okay. That he does not reject machinery and he is saying that how can I be against it if body is a machine only. And then he is adding to it that the spinning wheel is machinery, little toothpick is machine. So after R comes Q and then he says what he objects to is the craze for machinery not the machinery as such. Okay. And then we can say that he says that today machinery merely helps a few to ride on back of millions. So answer is option B R and Q. Which of the following sentences does not use informal language? Did you locate our office quite easily? You will be working with different managers during your training. We shall endeavor to inform you of the position in two weeks time. Is there anything else you want to ask? Now option C is uh, where we are using formal language. We don't use informal language. Endeavor is a sort of a formal word. We can say we shall try to inform you of the position in two weeks time and something like that. Okay. We can use the word try. Okay. Or attempt or something like that. But they are using the word endeavor which is more formal. So option C, sentence C is using formal language. It does not use informal language. Answer is option C. One part of the sentence below may contain an error. Identify the part. If there is no error, choose no error. Everyday life have become more complicated with the advancement of mobile technology. The error is in part A. Option A is the answer. Everyday life have. Have is plural. Life is singular. Okay. Life is singular. So over here instead of have it has to be has. Everyday life has become more complicated. Okay. So error is in this part of the sentence. Answer is option A. The following three sentences can be revised into one better sentence. Choose the sentence that is the best revision. I was at the fair. I got lost. I got scared. Now the options are I am scared after I am lost at the fair. I went to the fair and got scared as I was lost. I am lost the fair so I am too scared. This is like grammatically completely wrong. Okay. I got lost at the fair and was scared. Most appropriate and most succinct and precise is option D. Okay. If you check out over here I went to the fair and got scared as I was lost. This is correct. But this is too much wordy. Okay. Too many words are used. Right. So very succinctly, very precisely, okay, everything has been mentioned in option D. So this is even if option B is correct, okay, but still uh, it is too wordy. M much better is this option D. I am scared after I am lost at the fair. After I am lost. So sort of like past tense is there, but I am scared, okay, after I am. It is like present tense, ED and lost, past tense. It is used. It should be I was scared after I was lost at the fair because both of them are past tense. Either everything has to be in present tense or past tense. So this is also not grammatically correct. So correct answer is option D. 
government have been promising the eradication of children, child labor in high risk industries in india for many years however almost 100 million children are still not able to go to school and around 10 million are working in dash industries options are honorary if they are working in honorary industries they, that would not be a problem answer is hazardous okay option b so over first blank b only this one is the answer option b over here is the answer blank one b is the answer let's check out the second one india has the biggest child population of 380 million in the world dash number of children who are forced to earn a living largest number of children okay so b and a are the options over here lowest number no it is 380 million okay which is really very huge that is the reason they have mentioned biggest biggest child population of 380 million in the world largest it is not latest it is not loudest it is largest henry looks carefully into the telescope which lets him see far far away as far as the distant nebulae on the far edges of the milky way henry is an what what is astrologer tells you the future not useful astrologist also like sort of not useful astronomer okay henry is an astronomer astronaut goes into space henry is an astronomer so first blank is option c so answer is option b over here okay because only one option is there where the first blank is c let's check out second blank also he looks at the sky and stars in particular even though he spends much of his time looking at the detailed computer reports which are just lists and lists of numbers his dash thing about his job is looking through the telescope his favoring pleasant pleasing favorite okay option d his favorite thing about his job is looking through the telescope his pleasing thing uh, generally we we are not writing his pleasing we can't write his pleasing thing okay his pleasant also is not correct or his favoring thing is also not correct most appropriate is his favorite thing Fill in the blanks with the most appropriate set of words from the options given below. What did the painter do? Dash himself from falling. To save, to save, for saving himself from falling. Actually most appropriate is save. What did the painter do? To save himself from falling. Okay. For saving himself for from falling. Okay. We'll keep it as it is. Let's see the second sentence also. When he felt the ladder, dash, he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling. When he felt the ladder, dash, that means... When he was trying to feel what was happening, the ladder was beginning to slip. So when he felt the ladder beginning to slip, okay, when this action was happening, at that moment, he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling. So correct answer is option B. When he felt the ladder began slipping, okay, you can't have began and slipping ing together, okay, it is like continuous form, okay, Be felt the ladder began slipping, no, begin beginning slipping okay beginning to slip okay begin to slip when he felt the ladder begin to began is not appropriate so option a and d get cancelled again began to slip is over here now begin when he felt the ladder begin to slip okay so this action is actually happening when this action was happening at that moment he felt it so when he was feeling it it was beginning to slip so it has to be a continuous so ing verb has to be there okay that is the reason option b is correct option c is wrong Answer is option B. You are going to read a text about an artist. Some sentences are missing from the text. Choose from the list A to C the most appropriate sentences for each gap 1 to 2 in the text. There is one extra sentence that you do not need to use. Kahini held her first solo show in 1998. The entire proceeds of which went to the Helen Keller Institute of the Deaf and Blind in Mumbai. Blank encountering the this is like the first blank encountering the pathless terrain of inner landscape the artist engages in restless re-examination of idea and image this is the second blank she has also taken part in several art camps okay now let's see the options in her fifth solo show with acrylic and oil on canvas paintings in the series titled metamorphosis held recently at mumbai jangir art gallery she showed for the first time her abstract work as well her work has been acquired by corporate houses and also forms part of private collections. She has participated in a group show along with 50 women artists to celebrate International Women's Day. Now over here the first blank cannot be the fifth solo show okay because we are talking about first solo show okay and we can talk about her work has been acquired by corporate houses and also forms part of private collections. So option B 
sentence B is appropriate for the first blank. Let's see why. After that, they talk about her restless examination of idea and image. Then we can talk about her fifth solo show, okay, where she uh, presented her abstract 12 for the first time. So option A comes over here and then we can say she has also taken part in several art camps, right? Aisha had been very successful in managing her team in Edinburgh and was asked by the company to lead a remote team for an important two-year project. Keen to demonstrate her leadership, Aisha got her team members together for a remote meeting. But right from that first meeting, she realized that this was going to be a different challenge. This is the first blank. Lucia kept asking about really specific details while Aisha was hoping to use the meeting to get to know the team members and identify priorities. Archie and Lucia kept accidentally talking at the same time and when they didn't speak, there was an uncomfortable silence. Valentina hardly said a word. This is the second blank. Without these visual clues, okay, now this is a good clue over here for us, okay. Without these visual clues, Aisha had no idea whether people were interested, lost, confused or bored. Now three options are, no one had their cameras on. So there was none of the usual communication through body language and facial expressions. So these can be the usual or these can be the visual clues that the people are talking about. So statement A can come over here. Okay, since camera was not on, we can't see the facial expression. So there was no visual clues as such. Okay, but let's see other options also whether they can fit over there. Compared to face-to-face -face meeting, remote team is not preferred by all managers. Actually, this is irrelevant, but still uh, we'll see other option. For a start, Archie was late for the meeting by about 15 minutes because of technical problems. Now, statement C is most suitable over here because for the right at the first meeting, okay, Aisha realized that this is going to be a different challenge, okay. And what was the challenge during the meeting? First thing was that Archie was late for the meeting by about 15 minutes, okay. So answer is option D and then we can start with Lucia kept on asking really specific details. Okay. And then over here there was since no cameras were on, there were no visual clues. Now over here, this is a very general sentence. Sentence B compared to face to face meetings, remote team is not preferred by all the managers. So this is not something that we can, I mean, uh, connect it anywhere over here. Okay. This is a very general sentence. So uh, options. Option D is the answer. C and A statements are most appropriate over here. Read the passage given below and answer questions. It used to be the American shopper that exemplified the state of the world economy. The focus now should be on the person on the other side of the hill. America's retail industry is huge. It employs 15.9 million workers who represent 1 in 9 American jobs. It is also undergoing wrenching change as e-commerce eats into sales. There is, no, there is no more pressing test of society's ability to cope with technology's impact on work. That impact is already visible. For all the benefits that online retailing brings to customers, it is causing immense pain to offline rivals. Last year, 4,000 American stores closed. This year, more than twice that number may shutter. Standard & Poor's, a rating agency, expects retail defaults this year to outnumber those in 2009 at the height of global recession. Some formats, discount stores, groceries, high-end malls will continue to thrive, but many will shrink. The industry has shed 50,000 net jobs since January. Department stores may need to close more than 800 stores to reach the productivity levels of 2006. Many outlets are looking for ways to cut labor costs by embracing automation. Let's see what the questions are. This passage is mainly about those who regularly do shopping online actually know. Those who run large businesses and retail stores know. Those who run smaller retail shops. Yes, this is a possible answer. Let's see the other option. Those who cannot afford to buy anything in large retail shops. No, this is more about smaller retail shops and how technology is impacting them. Okay. And how they are have to close down the shops. What is the significant measure that stores are trying to adopt? Diversifying, shutting down business, merging, automation. Answer is option D, automation. Let's see in the paragraph, the last sentence. Many outlets are looking for ways to cut labor costs by embracing automation. Okay, so automation is the answer, option D.